Hello everyone. Today we will find the derivative of sin x using the first principle. So let f of x be the sin x function. Then by the first principle the derivative f dash x is nothing but limit h tends to 0 f of x plus h minus f of x the whole divided by h. Now friends h is any number which is not 0 but its value is very very close to 0. Okay, now let's put in the values here friends, we will get limit h tends to 0. Now f of x is sin x, so f of x plus h will be, yes, sin of x plus h minus this will be sin x, the whole divided by h. Now friends, let's apply the limit over here and see what happens. When I put h tends to 0 over here, I will get sin x minus sin x divided by 0 which is sin x minus sin x is 0 so 0 divided by 0 this is an indeterminate form friends and we have to find a way to remove this 0 by 0 form from here now if you see the numerator it looks very much like this expression sin c minus sin d did you observe that where you can take c as x plus h and d as x now sin c minus sin d is equal to 2 cos c plus d by 2 into sine c minus d by 2. Now this is a transformation formula. So let's substitute this formula over here. So we'll get limit h tends to 0 will be as it is. Now instead of this I'm going to write this. So 2 cos c plus d friends. So c is x plus h plus d is going to be x the whole divided by 2. Friends this divide by 2 is only for this angle. Please note that and sin c minus d. So x plus h minus x divided by 2. Let's not forget the divide by h over here. Now we'll get limit h tends to 0 2 cos. Now x plus x will give me 2x plus h divided by 2 into sin of x and minus x will get cancelled friends. So I'll get h by 2 the whole divided by h. Now let's try to apply the limit and see. I'll get 2 cos now when h is 0, this will be 2x by 2. So this expression looks fine. But look at this expression friends. This will become sin 0 which is 0 and the denominator will be again 0. So again I am getting the 0 by 0 form. So we need to again find a way to remove this form. Now if you observe this expression, this again looks like the limit formula. Limit x tends to 0 sin x divided by x equal to 1. See friends here in the numerator you have sin h by 2. In the denominator you have h. So if I somehow bring h by 2 in the denominator also, I can use this limit formula and get rid of the 0 by 0 form. So what we are going to do is copy the remaining terms as it is and I am going to multiply and divide the denominator by two friends. So when I multiply and divide, the value of the expression doesn't change. So here we have h by 2 and here also I have a h by 2 friends. Now this 2 and 2 will get cancelled. So let's see what we are left with limit h tends to 0 cos of 2x plus h by 2 now here I have sin h by 2 and here also I have h by 2 I hope you understood till here friends now we are going to use the limit property where we can bring the limit separately to each function so we'll get limit h tends to 0 cos of 2x plus h by 2 into limit h tends to 0 sine of h by 2 divided by h by 2. Now we can apply the limit. So when I apply h tends to 0 over here, I'll get cos of, now h becomes 0, so 0 plus 2x will give me 2x divided by 2 into, now this whole expression will become 1 friends and the reason is limit x tends to 0 sin x divided by x is equal to 1. So now 2 and 2 will get easily cancelled, I'll get cos x and that's how the derivative of sin x is cos x. Now friends this is something which we already know but now we have also derived it using the first principle. So friends I hope that you found this video useful. If so do like and share the video and please do leave your comments in the comment section below and do consider subscribing to enjoy math. So till we meet again take care.